everyone, welcome back to the channel. I have been indoor potty training Bowser. He's now indoor and outdoor potty trained. Indoor potty training has taught me a lot of things and this is pretty much everything you need to know about indoor potty training based on everything that I have tried. Just to note that this video is not how to potty train, but simply the options for potty training and some tips and tricks. If you would like to see how I potty trained Bowser, I'll link that in the description below. Starting off with the basics puppy pads. So there's a couple different types of puppy pads that I like. This is just your, you know, basic run of the mill puppy pad. Bowser was trained on these ahead of time. So this is what I initially used. Pros with these ones is you can just throw them out. They're very easy. They have the borders around them, which I find is helpful for dogs that are trying to figure out where in the house they can and can't go. However, these guys have a lot of cons and specifically for Bowser, he ate them. So a big con to these guys is they're not honestly very safe. If you can trust your dog not to eat them, then more power to you, that's great. But I could not leave him home alone with these because any chance that he got, he was ripping them up and trying to eat them. Another con with these guys is they're not super environmentally friendly. They are one use or, you know, a couple use at best. And so then you have to throw them out. Yeah, this is an option. With that being said, another option is reusable puppy pads. So I get these ones in large. They are, honestly, I, I've had a good experience with them. I originally really did not want to get them because the thought of having to wash them all the time was very not appealing to me. However, I've actually had a great experience with these ones. This brand in particular, in one of my original videos, you'll see that I'm using a different brand and I do not recommend that brand because the pee stains show up so bad on the light fabric that it honestly, I had to throw them out after like a couple washes and they, they just stained so bad. And these ones being dark, um, they don't stain. And I think it's also the material because I haven't noticed like any staining on these at all. They come out perfectly clean. I really recommend these ones. There'll be a link in my description below. The pros of these ones is that obviously <laughs> They can't rip them up, they can't eat them, so they're a lot safer. I leave these home alone with Bowser. They're obviously more environmentally friendly and you can use them a lot. Also, the expense is not um, nearly as much as if you were just using reusable pads. Therefore, I would definitely recommend these ones. Now, when going the route of the puppy pads, there's a couple different ways that you can go. So personally for us, Bowser kicks up his leg to go pee. So having the puppy pad just on the floor is never gonna work. So instead, I've come up with a couple different methods, especially when he was first potty training. So I made this inexpensive uh, puppy apartment kind of dupe um, and it worked out really, really well while I was training him. As he got a bit older and he didn't really need the puppy apartment anymore, he knew where he was supposed to go um, and he would go there consistently. He started to pee off the pad. So that was obviously an issue. He didn't think that anything was wrong because he was technically sitting on the puppy pad. I saw on Amazon, there was this really expensive litter box for dogs. And I was like, you know what? I feel like I can create that for, for much less. I ended up going to Walmart and picking up a kennel. And I just took the top off of the kennel and I put his puppy pads in there. That worked really great for a year. And then we ended up moving across the country to Toronto. And so I couldn't take those with me. My car is not big enough for that. So then when I got here, I realized that our apartment is a lot smaller than our house. Once we got here, I realized we were now limited on space. So I was stuck looking for other solutions. I was looking on Amazon and I found these puppy pad magnets that hold the puppy pad up against the wall and that has been working amazing. So if you are limited on space and you can't use the kennel method, this method has been working beautifully. So I'll show you guys that now. Here are the magnets that I got on Amazon. Oh, hi. So here's the magnets that I ordered to hold up the puppy pads. 
A little bit of a tip is um, the magnets that actually came on the Amazon order were super weak. So I ended up just buying some magnets and sticking them on top of the magnet that was already here. And then they stick really good after that. You might not need a stronger magnet if you just have a regular puppy pad, but because the ones that I have are pretty thick, it just wouldn't stick without this. Also, the 3M that they send you is extremely sticky and trying to get it off the wall, I felt it would rip the wall. So instead I went and got 3Ms with a tag so that they're a lot easier to remove. And then here, this is what it looks like. And then he's able to kick up his leg up against the wall and still not make a mess. Other methods include fake grass that you can get. There's a couple different methods. There's plastic grass. I personally didn't go with that because I thought that it would kind of come up with a smell. If anyone in the comments has a different experience, please let me know. And then there's also the real grass option. I personally didn't go with that option because I felt that it was too expensive um, for me personally. So I ended up going with a modified puppy pad version. Kind of off topic, kind of on topic. I've seen a pug who uses a toilet. Should I try and train Bowser how to do that? <laughs> I'm not even sure how that one works, so I can't recommend or anything, but I've seen it. If you guys know of any other potty training methods that you know, please comment them down below. I would love to hear about them, love to try them out. I hope this video was helpful for some of you and let me know what you think in the comments or if you have any other recommendations. Nice. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time.